seems like we've drifted further off. Constantly drifting. Sounds like me right now. What do you mean? I've just been drifting around, being led by circumstances. No, that's not right. In Ave, you helped Bart when he needed it. And in Kislev, you gave your all to defend, to save everyone. You've even shown concern for me many times. No, I'm just no good. Why? Probably deep inside, I'm not really trying to help. Somehow, I get the feeling that all I've done, I did because I wanted to be needed. That if I did something for them, then maybe I'd have a place to belong. There's a side of me that comforts itself like that. That doesn't mean I don't want to help, but that doesn't mean I really want to help either. It might not be nothing, but it sure isn't the whole either. I'd been drifting, led around until I met you, Ellie. Now we're stranded out in the ocean. I'm sorry, I got you involved. It's okay, don't worry about me. I've been thinking why I'm here. I could have just gone back, but for some reason I didn't. Probably because you said it's better to do something than nothing. I think that's why I felt I had to do something. It's okay not to feel whole. Even if you only feel partially complete, if you repeat that enough, eventually it'll be whole. A part is better than zero. You're right, I'm sorry. If we're saved, will you go back? I probably won't go back to my squad. Right now, I really don't want to be there. Besides, I could probably do something else. I don't have to be in the army. So I'm thinking of going back to my country. Is that possible? But what about the army? It's not like anyone knows what I did. They've probably already classified me as MIA. Hmm, I hope at least you'll survive. I'm sure you'll find what you want to do in your life. You said something about being comforted. Yes. Don't be too hard on yourself. Everyone wants to be needed at times. All of us want to give something inside ourselves to others to be accepted. Even me. Remember how you forced yourself to eat those emergency rations? Ah! <laughs> hey, are you okay? I told you not to eat such a gross looking animal. It tastes horrible. The last time I had food this bad was Doc's cooking. But unless we do something, we're going to die. I guess there's no other way. I was hoping to save this a little longer. This should hold us for another day. But it's only for emergency calories, so I can't promise how good it'll taste. Huh? What? It's dry and crumbly? I thought so. You don't like it, do you? What? No, it's good. Yeah, it's great. Whatever you'd share with me couldn't be that bad, could it? You forced yourself to eat those rations earlier, didn't you? For me to survive, it would have been better not to share it. But watching you eat it even though it tasted bad comforted me. I felt glad that I shared it with you. It made me feel a little better. For your own sake? Yes, for my own sake. Selfish, I admit. But I think it's okay to be that way at first. But little by little, you learn about your own happiness. And someday you are able to share that important part of you with someone else. Some day. Ah. Uh, what's up? Nothing. It just felt as though I've told you the same thing long ago. It must be my imagination. I couldn't have said it to you before because we've only just met, haven't we? Yes, it's probably just my imagination. Ellie, hey Ellie, wake up! Good morning, Faye. You're up early. No time for formalities. Look at that! Huh? It's the Metal Gear Solid 2 tanker. This is a different sounding song. <laughs> I 
<laughs> just pick their whole thing up. So, that was the moment I was looking forward to. So, I'm glad I didn't say anything. Because I was like, how are you going to put Ellie and Faye alone drifting at sea and not have, like, some kind of moment together? And instead, they're just, like, goofing. Right? But, they were building up to it. I think that maybe that scene would have worked better if it was kind of like, um... Like the scene in Final Fantasy VI, uh, where a certain character is stranded. If you know, you know. And like the whole game kind of comes to a stop. And you're just that character stuck for like 30 minutes. You're just like stuck doing menial tasks. And it like completely separates from the rest of the game and it feels like this, you know, really important moment. Whereas here it was like going back and forth. It was like, and it was a lot of comedy and it was going back and forth between this and the, the ship. Um, I feel like that would have worked a lot better. Like, I don't even understand why the ship scene was there. Like, I, I feel like we could have just skipped that whole thing. Like he, the whole idea was Bart was just apologizing. And I don't even see why that's really important. You could have just had, whenever we meet up with them later, you could have just said like, oh yeah, Bart apologized to us or something and just left it at that. I don't know why that needed to be a whole scene. I don't know why I had to run around the boat to find him. I think it would have worked better if we were just stuck at sea and I had to do some like dumb fishing mini game to try to like fish to survive and then like, it just kind of, maybe there was even like several days that went past and they got more and more hungry as it went on and more and more desperate as it went on or something. And then they like had that moment. I think that would have worked better than just like, here's a goofy thing of Faye trying to get a fish and then you do chores with Bart and then suddenly they have a moment. But still, it was a good moment and I'm glad they did that because I was like, man, this would be a perfect opportunity for us to have like a moment with those two because when she first joined, there was like no moment. She just kind of joined. And I was like, well, what the heck? I thought that was like the whole thing we were building up to. So uh, still, they haven't really said much about like, I don't know, I, I think they're still building up to like a moment where she truly decides to join us. Because right now she's like, I might just go back to my country. So I guess that makes sense, but still waiting for a moment where they finally like, Ellie finally makes her decision. Um, but uh, that was still a pretty good moment. I liked that. And it didn't feel disconnected. It felt connected to their relationship. I was so surprised there were people living afloat on the vast sea. On top of that, you were with two gears. That's unheard of. Thanks, you helped us out. You'd better thank the captain. The one who gave the order for us to pull you two floaters out was the captain of the Thames. Thames, Captain. The Thames, the city at sea. That is where you are now. The captain here is a bit of a strange old chap. You'll see when you meet him. That's not to say he's a bad old blighter. Uh, what about their gears? Don't worry about it. We put them inside the Thames through the supply dock. Seawater got inside, so it'll take some time to fix them. You're repairing them for us? Pretty strange for us to be so nice. I bet that's what you're thinking. But really, we had no choice because it's the captain's orders. Well, I have to go now. I'm a busy guy, you know. Come to the bridge after you've looked around the ship for a while. I'm sure the captain would want to meet you. Why is this kid running into us? Faye, what's wrong? I feel like I've seen that guy somewhere before. Never mind. My big brother's a real wimp. He's scared of heights. Pathetic. Just calm down. My little sister pushed me. She always picks on me. I'm so scared. Oh, mean sister. 
Hey, if you need something from my store, go talk to this. Wait, what? If you want something... If you need something from my store, go talk to my stupid son. <laughs> What's going on on this boat? Increases speed, increases defense. Removes all status effects. I feel like that's nice to have. I feel like this would be nice to have too. For some reason, I'm rich. I, like I don't know why I'm so rich. But I'd be pretty rich. <laughs> Hello, are you the... Uh, hold on, I wrote this down. Stupid son? <laughs> That's me. Hey, I'm dang sure you'd like this. This is... Oh? Oh? Is what it is. Isn't this just great? Hey, wait a minute. This is not for sale. Sorry, I can't sell it. Are you sure the sun is the one that's stupid? <laughs> also, isn't that the... That... This thing here. Is that not the icons for, like, on a gear, off a gear? Wait, now they're... What's going on? <laughs> Why is that guy walking on a box? Queenie is so beautiful. Wow, you suck. Why don't you come back when you've gotten a little better? You better practice somewhere other than Thames. What? You don't know what I'm talking about? Ah! I know you know what I'm talking about. But I didn't know what she was talking about. The, the ship has like a world map. What the heck? Screw elevator. Screw that elevator in particular. Is this a knife? Is this a giant knife? <laughs> what the heck? Whoa, a customer. Ooh. Ooh. Says ether armor. I'll just go better armor. Yes, I want to upgrade her gear. She needs it. Oh, I can I can upgrade all of them. You already have your best thing. This armor seems like really freaking good. Remember when I said I was rich? 
I might, I might not upgrade the steer yet. Save some of my money. Does he need gas though? Yeah, we're burning money. What else do you have? Who is this for? Ammo. Ammo for who? For what? Whoa! It's probably good to have. That's probably good to have. I feel like the... The customization in the shops has finally actually opened up. I'm not just buying the most expensive thing in every shop anymore. There's actually, like, decisions to be made. Part of that's just having so many gears now, but... Yeah, I'm not just like, oh, here's the next thing every time. Nice camera. So I'm looking for the captain of this establishment. Jump, Faye, jump. I just realized that's a giant gun. How did I not notice that before? <laughs> I noticed the knife, I didn't notice the gun. Isn't that an important job as I run away? Feel sick. Oh, please don't spin it. Don't spin it. I'm spinning it. Holy moly. Beer hall. We gotta go to the beer hall. It's a pretty cool elevator. Let's save so I can't get all my money back. My money is permanently spent. Xeno beers. Can I get uh, two Xeno beers? Does that kid have a... Oh, it's like a... I don't know what to call those hats. It's like the desert hat. Men are stupid. They're so happy with that crap. The beer. <laughs> I've never been on dry land since I was born. Think about it. You have dirt on your feet. How can you do that? True. Hey, are you listening to me? You're new. Want me to teach you? Really? Well, I'll teach you then. You thought I'd battle right off? Get real, only the fast do well at this game. It's a card game for men at the sea. What in the blaze this is happening? I'll explain the rules to you. First, I deal you and your opponent 26 cards each. Then I will place four cards in front of each player as your current hands. Epic sound effects. And then I place another card on the left-hand side looking from your viewpoint. Up to here I do automatically for you, but from here on the game starts. 
You must take your first four cards and the remaining 21 cards and place them all on top of the two center cards faster than your opponent can. Wait, so it's speed? Of course there are certain rules for placing the cards. Place a card on top of another card if it is numerically in order, like one number higher. In this case, there's three you can play for. Yeah, it's literally just speed. But if the numbers aren't in order... <laughs> you can't play the card, but if there's a K, you can play an A and vice versa. They didn't even, like, change the numbers, right? Like, it's literally just oil cards, and it's just the speed. Was there... In this case, it will be a call of 1-2, and a card will be played directly from your remaining pile of cards. If both players still can't play, this will be repeated. There are no remaining cards on your pile to play at the 1-2 call, then the leftmost card from the set of cards in front of you will be played directly. And... First player to use all their cards wins. In this case, you lose. <laughs> in this case, you lose. Oh, and one more thing. By pushing the select button, you can quit a game midway through, but of course this will mean you lose. By the way, there are lots of good players on board the Thames. How about starting off by playing my mate here? I can't believe I have to run to the card. Seems a bit... odd. Dude, he's so fast! Good lord! What's he doing? Stop! Stop! We can't play! Oh, I have to replace my cards. I got it. Okay. I was like, what is he doing? suck at this, not gonna lie. that voice line what this game hasn't had a single voice line and then well it did in the opening cutscene we got a voice line for the car game hey you're doing pretty good from your shoes the bait percent value Got some Nikes. That's true. There were there were a few. You're right. 
You're right, you're right. Let's go play some drunk guy. Nope, I'm not trying to drink. Yes, you are. I am the master, the best master, Thames master. <laughs> hey, do something about this old drunk. Bump them up, air them out. What, are you injured? Yes. I see, just plop down and sleep over there. Free nap. Let's go. Yo, Rod, they give the sub demand potion, by the way. Don't ever come back. <laughs> okay. How do I operate this thing? I can't believe this game has a card game. I wonder how, like, many people you can actually play with. I mean, it's pretty simple, and it's going to be the same every time, other than the AI maybe just being a bit harder, but... Still freaking cool that they even have one. Let me introduce myself. I'm Hans, the ship's first mate. Uh, what? Does every ship have a Hans? I've held onto the seat for 30 years. I'm not losing it to some young upstart. You're the two winos who floated in with the gears. I don't really like wandering around. Gwahahaha. Well, don't take it so badly. For us, anything we pull out of the sea is treasure. And you're a really big, important treasure. We were really careful. Um, thanks for helping. What a pretty lady. Oh, don't make that face. I won't bite. I'll return your gears to you squeaky clean. Why are you being so kind? That's because... I am... A man... Of the sea! Gahahaha! You're probably starved. I'll get you some food. Hans! I'll welcome the guests. You take care of the rest. Yes, sir. Just don't overdo it. Of course I know that. How can you be so calm? The captain and everyone are so irresponsible. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me go and get things ready. What? Who's that? They don't look like such bad people. I mean, it's your fault for thinking he's bad before you even met him. Oh, this is also the beer hall. So wait, where did he go? This Dissidia? here. One okay. Hey, there's a chest there. Hey, there's a chest over there too. Hey, there's a chest over there too. How does get chests Okay. 
my god, I almost fell off again. Can I jump on this? What in the... Can I just open it from here? Alright. <laughs> Excellent. What about... the other one. Let me get up there. Hey, I moved it. Somehow. Aha! Serpent G Whip. It's probably for Bart. Hey, pal, will you listen to my problems? Until recently, I've always wanted to be a seaman and navigate the Thames. That was my plan. But looking at all that treasure and stuff being moved around. Well, it made me want to become a master crane operator so I could control that machine at my will. What do you think I should do? Crane master. Yeah, you're right, a crane master. He said he was gonna go get food, but he's not in the beer thing. Is he on the deck? We're on the deck. We be the deck. I feel like. 50% of this game is me trying to find NPCs. <laughs> Usually by my own fault, but... Like, here... Here it makes more sense, because it's like... You get to explore the ship while you're doing it. But sometimes it's like... You've already been in an area, and it's just like, Alright, this NPC went off somewhere, find him. happening. Is this entire thing shaking? Is this safe? I don't think that's safe. I love this elevator. It's so cool. Uh, isn't this a beer hall? You can talk to the other areas on board the Thames through that intercom. Hey, really? I just, I just chat with someone. Captain's great, isn't he? Because of him, the work doesn't run out. I remember seeing a high tower a long time ago. It was called Babel Tower. Even I can't see the top of it. And my eyes are good. They say the Reapers called Wells come from there. Wells, like well tall. Who wants to play cards? Maybe he is in here and I'm blind. 
He isn't here, I'm just blind. Took you a while, but things aren't ready yet. Hey, hurry it up. Don't make our guests wait. Sorry, there's no place to sit around here. But isn't the view just splendid from here? This beer hall is Thames Pride. You probably think it's a wee bit peculiar having a beer hall right next to the bridge, but it's fine by me. If you don't take time in life to enjoy a drink, you will be swallowed by the waves of anxiety. But we don't have that problem. Thanks to this beer hall, everyone here is too sloshed to worry. Are you always wandering the scenes, seas like this? Well, normally, there is that crane that fished you out. We use that or the gears to pull up treasure from the sea. We're scalping. Sound. Sound. Blah, 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 blah. Recently, however, there has been almost no treasure. Just little things. Since we started the big job, well, that's all we've had. Big job? Oh, that's a job for the Ethos. The Ethos is planning a really big salvage next. I don't know the details, but it looks like we'll be searching for some buried treasure. Why is the Ethos involved? Who knows, but we're dependent on the Ethos to buy our stuff. So it won't look good if we turn the job down. Well, dinner's finally ready. Let's eat. We've got sonar. That's not it. This type. It matches with the Ave pirate ship Yggdrasil. Yggdrasil? Wasn't she sunk in another battle? There's no record of it sinking, but we're too busy fighting that red gear to try to confirm it. Then, there is a chance that it did not sink. I believe the data shows the Yggdrasil was that the carrier for that gear. One moment. Yes, that is correct. Excellent. Give me the controls. Excellent. What are you planning on doing? Sink it, of course. She will never trouble the commander again. Wait. The commander's orders were to investigate the disappearance of that flying battleship. We can't deviate from our mission. Besides, we are low on fuel and need to refuel. We have enough. I'll take her down. Ugh. Once you start, there is no stopping you, is there? I hope you know what fighting in water... I hope you know that fighting in water is totally different than fighting on land. Is that a hint to us? Of course. Sorry, Calvena. You know, I don't think this game has enough characters. I think we need, like, nine more characters. <laughs> we just had that alien cutscene where we, they dropped, like, seven different names. I know you haven't eaten for a while, but how can you eat so much? Gah ha 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 ha. This is great. This is great. I like how you eat. You weren't drifting around for nothing. <laughs> Chrono Cross has a lot of characters, but at least a lot of them are just like combat characters. They don't have like much in the story, you know? But here it's like they're constantly introducing new characters that are like important. Like we need to know who they are. Men have courage and have appetites. Gahaha. Did we just shake? You're just imagining it. I don't think so. Captain, your first mate is calling you. Got it, I'm on the way. Looks like something's up. Sorry, but I have to return to the bridge. But please, enjoy yourselves. Ellie, is that a water spout? It's too far, I can't see very well, but it looks like a battle. Let's go to the bridge too. Okay. Gotta save every time something happens because you never know when you're gonna have like an hour where you can't save.
They've got Gut starting a fight next to the Thames. It gets my blood boiling. Hey Hans, I haven't fired the big gun in a long time. How about we take a shot or two? Are you kidding? Why get the Thames involved in a fight between sides who are neither enemies nor allies? And that big gun is nothing but a useless piece of junk you tacked on to the Thames in a drunken stupor. You just don't understand the code of men at the sea. What are you doing? It seems like a submarine is under attack. Submarine? Hey, that's... That ship! What? What's wrong? That's the Yggdrasil! Isn't that Bart's ship? Yeah, he's still alive. Alright! We can't just sit here, let's go! Go where? To help, what else? Is that a gear? Hmm... Hold your horses! Doc, this is the bridge. How are our guests' gears? You know, you know what I think would have been better, going back to what I was saying before? I feel like it would have been better if we just crashed without, like, the whole scene where Bart shot us down. I feel like it would have been better if we were just in the Goliath and then we got hit by something and we didn't know what. And then we went down and then we had the scene with... Uh, Faye and Ellie on the raft in their whole moment and like I said before maybe have like several days pass or something where they're just like stuck and then we get picked up by this boat and then all this happens and then when he looks through the telescope that's the first time we see the Yggdrasil 2 right and then like we get to realize that Bart's alive at the same time that Faye gets to realize that Bart's alive. And then, at some point, it's revealed to us that the Yggdrasil shot down the Goliath. Instead of having that whole thing where, like, Bart shoots it down, and we watch him shoot it down, and then we have to apologize, like, just cut all that out, have the moment be, like, here, and then we have a moment later where, like, he admits that he was the one that shot us down and then we make the connection then. You know? Like, that would have been so much better. The repairs will be done shortly. Two minutes. Huh? Finish in two minutes. Then take them out through the supply entrance to the deck. Yes, sir. Your gears are being moved to the deck. Go get them. If you need to, you can buy equipment at the supply entrance shop. What are you saying, Captain? What if we get bombed while we're caught up in the middle of a fight? Be quiet. Our guests are fighting to save their friends. Don't get in the way. If we don't help, it'll tarnish the men of the sea's good name. Yes, sir, but the Thames itself will not join in any fights. Thanks, that's more than enough. Right, but the conversation was like, for one, it wasn't a big deal, and for two, they could have just had that conversation later. My ears. Or, like, shown a flashback of that conversation later. If it was that important. Like, basically, the conversation between... Satan and Bart was just there so that Satan could realize who made the submarine, which could have been revealed in many other ways. And not had, like, the whole part where we ran around the ship looking for him. Okay, let's go. W wait!
Oh, come on, Satan. Just when I thought we were saved, now we're gonna be turned into Swiss cheese. We are not particularly liked here, are we? Faye, Ellie, you are alright. Somehow. This is no time for tearful reunions. I don't think there was ever going to be a tearful reunion with Satan. Yeah, where's Bart? He is fighting below. He said he was going to hold them back until the depth charges were ready. But he left without the proper hydro preps. We are busy trying to ready the depth charges. Your gear should be able to handle underwater warfare to some extent. Go help him out. Got it, Ellie, let's go. I knew it. I knew from what they said earlier. There's going to be underwater fighting. That was, that was a great, like, little hint to us as the player when she was like, Don't you know that underwater fighting is different? Dang it, I can barely maneuver and you're moving all over the place. Looks like you're having a tough fight, Bart. Faye, you're alive? Hey, that's my line. What about that gear? Elheim, what are you doing here? Dominia, what are you- why are you here? Why? We Gebler need no special reasons to sink an enemy ship. It is our divine duty to rule these crass land- crass land-dwelling lambs. But why? How are they different from us shepherds, the Abel? To me, lambs and Abel are the same. The only definite difference is personal ability. The ignorant must be led by the wise. That is our job. Look what you've gamed as an element, Ellie. Why do you even question? Your superiority is obvious. So the wise harming the weak is a sign of ability? I didn't want that. That's all. Ellie, are you alright? That gear, you're the one? Ha! So that's how it is. How amusing, Elheim. All this for a man? I guess that story was true after all. You were born of those lowly lambs. Stop! Don't say another word. Hmm. What are you going to do about it, mongrel? Are you going to use the power you used in the that incident on me now? Go ahead, show me. Show me your true power. I will. If you gebbler are wise, then I'd rather be a fool. Then so be it. Then you shall be dealt with as the traitor you are. That was kind of that was kind of Ellie making her her moment there, making her stand. Come on, Elheim. Show me your true self. Accuracy down, launch high speed disc attack. Sure, give him the wild smile. Nice. Nice, it's already working. Not seeing anything too different about water battling. So it looks like I can just almost get to attack level two, but I just barely can't make it. Obviously, if I had something equipped for water battling, it would give me a buff, but it doesn't seem like I'm struggling underwater or anything. 
Young master, depth charges will be dropped. Please stand back. nothing. Come on, come on. Enough already. Dominia, retreat. I was so close. But don't think I'll be leaving empty-handed now. What? What? Ah! Oh. She did her own voice acting. Ellie! Where's the ref? <laughs> Faye, where's Ellie? The enemy took her. I doubt that. Bart, what do you mean? Stop it, Faye. This is no time for bickering. What? <laughs> what? He's like, the, the enemy took her. And then he's like, no, they didn't. And Faye's like, what? <laughs> and then Satan is like, stop your bickering. <laughs> For now, we must find a place to finish repairing the Yggdrasil. Did you hear what he just said? <laughs> Don't worry, the ship that saved us is nearby. They call it the Thames, and it's about the size of a small city. Their captain can help us. That's the Thames? <laughs> yeah, that was very odd. there's a lot of emotional whiplash in this game. Like, Ellie just got taken, and then we're just kind of like... <laughs> Should we have some, like... stressful music at the moment? It's just like, carry on. Like, a lot of stressful things happen, and then the game's just kind of like... So anyways... Sorry about what I said earlier. It's alright. I was at fault too. I haven't seen you in such a long time. We shouldn't be fighting. You weren't fighting, but okay. The Yggdrasil 2 was constructed so quickly we had no time to ready its depth charges. Also, it was my fault we didn't have depth charges because I prioritized the Bart missiles over everything else. Bart missiles? Oh, uh, um, well, they're not that great anyway. Anyway, I'm glad you're okay. I always knew that you'd be alive. Of course, I'm Bart the Immortal. What are you trying to say? This is this is so frustrating, because I've been excited for this moment where Bart and Faye finally meet up again. But now, it's like, we shouldn't be talking about this now. Ellie just got taken. You know what I mean? Like, they finally do it, but it's at the wrong time. But this time I got reamed by the Red Gear monster. A Red Gear? Yeah, he beat me and then left us to sink into the sand. But this next part sounds wild. We sank into this huge cave under the sand. And then a sand cruiser, just like the Yggdrasil, was there. We replaced the usable parts in the bridge and remodeled it. Frankly, I do not believe it myself. It looks the same, but it can float. Most likely, it is the Yggdrasil's prototype. People lived there long ago, and they had many weapons. That's how we got them. Bart already showed me. Those weapons are most likely from Shabbat. Shabbat? You mean the aerial? More importantly, we should go say ahoy to the captain. Yeah. More importantly, we should save Ellie. What are we doing? 
Hey, let's play some cards. Have you seen my... My new card collection? <laughs> Meanwhile, Ellie. <laughs> Young master, you shouldn't play pranks in an unknown land. Okay. Yeah, we probably should save our game. Yeah, there's so much, like, I don't know, it's weird. And it's not like... I feel like it's going against the game's own exposition, because there was that whole moment where... Faye was like, I'm gonna save you, Ellie, no matter what. And then, like, that whole thing happened. And then they had their whole moment on the ship, so I thought, like, but now it's just like, oh, well, I mean, she got taken away. I don't know, it's weird. It, it, a lot of, there's a lot of whiplash in this game. And I, I want to blame, I want to blame the translation more than anything, but I do think that some parts are just written poorly, unfortunately. Then, again, I think the organization of the scenes could be better as well. Like, we had that issue before as well, and now I feel like it here... I don't know if it's padding or just they didn't think about it till it was too late or what. But, yeah, some of the organization of the scenes could be better. But anyways, that's not to take away from all the good stuff we saw today, because definitely some really awesome scenes today. Um, and I think the biggest takeaway from today was that boss fight. That boss fight was awesome. Really feel like we're finally using the gears and actually uh, want to... Uh, like, I have to actually think about and take advantage of all the different things the gears can do. Um, so that's really good stuff. That was awesome to see. Hopefully it keeps going in that in that angle. Um, but yeah, that'll be it for Xeno Gears today. This is a good place to stop, so we'll stop here. Um, we're going to move on to our Final Fantasy IX Excalibur 2 run, which I'm very excited to continue. But uh, first, we gotta say goodbye to YouTube. So, YouTube, thank you for so much for watching. Let's play Xeno Gears. Love to continue to hear all of your opinions about the game as we keep going. Um, I'm very interested to see what everyone is talking about with Disc 2. Heard a lot of discourse about Disc 2 and interested to see what I think of it. Um, so, yeah, but for now, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for all the support. A um, couple people also joined the Patreon recently, so I just wanted to shout out those people and say thank you very much for doing that. Um, that is above and beyond what you need to do. Certainly just watching the videos is, is enough, and I appreciate it just as much, but um, going above and beyond and, and joining the Patreon is really awesome, so thank you. And with that, we'll see you in the next episodes of Let's Play Xenogears. We'll see you there. Peace.